Well, Albert is back with us now, and we have some nice days ahead, but eventually rain is coming. Yeah, so if you're making the weekend plans, Sunday's looking quite stormy and now features at least a chance of some strong, maybe even some severe storms. That's something we're going to keep an eye on in the days to come. Tomorrow, though, the hottest day of at least the next week as we make our way into the upper 80s. The humidity's up, so we're talking about heat indices in the low 90s. If you're ready for a little bit of cooler air, it arrives Friday morning. A front comes in mainly dry. They'll drop us back in the low 80s on Friday. Unless you're near the lake, you'll be in the upper 70s on Friday afternoon. And here are uh, those rain chances for the weekend. They start off small Saturday afternoon. They get bigger Saturday night, and they'll be widespread as we head into Sunday. Now, tomorrow we're dry. We're hot. That's going to allow for elevated amounts of ozone pollution. Happen Earlier today, I'll do it again tomorrow with the air quality in the orange category that is unhealthy for sensitive groups. The UV index very high. The pollen, weed pollen in the high count molds are also elevated. 77 degrees right now in the city, 71 in Valparaiso and Kankakee at 69 degrees, Aurora. DeKalb right now at 68, you'll be at 62 overnight. Notice the low 60s out here towards the west. It looks like the air temperature getting very close to the dew point temperature, that measurement of moisture in the atmosphere. So that may allow for 100% saturation, allow for the development of some fog overnight into tomorrow morning. Not expecting a whole lot of fog though here in the city with upper 60s for lows, upper 50s and low 60s in northwest Indiana by tomorrow morning. But we're in the 80s by midday at 11 a.m. We're 87 degrees at 3 o'clock. 5 o'clock temperature, that's our high at 88 degrees. Midway near 90 tomorrow at 89, 88 in Joliet, 86 Aurora, 86 also in both Valparaiso and also in Rensselaer. But here comes the cooler air on Friday. Notice the winds coming off of Lake Michigan out of the northeast. That's why temperature will be in the 70s near the lake, but 80s inland and the farther inland you go away from the lake, it certainly gets a lot hotter on Friday with 88 in Joliet and also in Kankakee. Saturday, most of Saturday's dry. Notice the rain chance at 20%. So let's walk through the weekend forecast. Here's 5 p.m. in the afternoon on Saturday. We're dry. We'll add a chance for some showers in the evening and especially after midnight, some showers increasing into your Sunday morning. So scattered showers Sunday morning. That's 8 a.m. Along the activity and then with daytime heating, more widespread scattered showers and thunderstorms. You'll notice as we head into Sunday evening, a little bit of yellow popping up. That's the model indicating the chance of thunderstorms and storms that do develop on Sunday have at least the potential of being on the heavy side, producing some heavy downpours, cloudy ground lightning, Severe weather threat is low right now, but I think it's worth watching in the days to come. And speaking of the rainfall, how about this? Anywhere from an inch to maybe as much as an inch and a half, and a lot of that's going to fall through the day on Sunday into Sunday night. So notice those rain chances, but not until late in the day Saturday. We'll bump it to 60% on Sunday, and even some lingering showers possible for the Monday morning commute. But as far as temperatures go, tomorrow's the hot one. We're in the low 80s Friday into Wednesday of next week. All right, thank you, Albert.